Good evening, friends. Welcome to Compline, or prayer at the close of the day for December 1st, 2020. We're into the last month of 2020 and something like our 10th month of COVID Compline. Uh, tonight we will read together um, the third chapter of Genesis as we continue to journey through uh, that part of scripture. And uh, we'll sing two hymns tonight. We'll sing as we light our Advent wreath. We'll sing Light One Candle to Watch for Messiah, which is hymn number 240 if you're following along in your evangelical Lutheran worship. And uh, in our regular hymn spot, we will sing On Jordan's Bank, the Baptist's Cry. Uh, hymn number 249. Don't feel bad for our Baptist brothers and sisters. Uh, th I think they mean John the Baptist here. Hooray for lame dad jokes in Advent. If you, f if you stick around following the service tonight, I'd like to read to you a bedtime story that is not ill-advised. Uh, I've read it once before, it's my favorite children's book that I am convinced is an Advent story. And I've been saying to folks that it feels like uh, this whole COVID journey has been one extended Advent. Uh, especially now that we hear that vaccines are on the way, even if not imminently. Uh, it gives us a sense of the end that we can expect. And we've been rooted in this tradition of COVID Compline. Uh, by our, uh, these traditions, this tradition that we've inherited, uh, roots that can sustain us. And we've journeyed along together as best we can, uh, in the dark, a step at a time, sometimes frustrated, sometimes joyful. Uh, that sounds a lot like Advent to me. So tonight we'll read, uh, following the service, uh, by Mo Willems, Waiting is Not Easy. But before we do all of that, let us begin as it is good and wise to begin all things under the care of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Stir up your power, Lord Christ, and come. By your merciful protection, awaken us to the threatening dangers of our sins. And keep us blameless until the coming of your new day. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Welcome, Marilyn and Irene. Thanks for joining in tonight. Peace be with you, Katika. Great to see you. Heidi, blessings to you. And Karen, peace be with you. Wonderful to worship with you all tonight. Almighty God, grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen. My day, O oh God, you grant your steadfast love, and at night your song is with me, a prayer to the God of my life. We sing together the first verse of Light One Candle. The lyric goes like this, Light one candle to watch for Messiah. Let the light banish darkness. He shall bring salvation to Israel. God fulfills the promise. Light one candle to watch for Messiah. Let the light banish darkness. He shall, he shall bring salvation to Israel. God fulfills the promise. Light one candle to 
watch for Messiah. Let the light banish darkness. He shall bring salvation to Israel. God fulfills the promise. Friends, let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. <laughs> the <laughs> Karen, I'm just reading your message. Um, Robert the Rose Horse is a favorite story of mine. My mom bought that book for me as an adult because I read that book until it fell apart when I was a tiny kid. So they, I used to make them read that to me for months on end. Uh, <laughs> but no, that's not an Advent story, that one. I don't know liturgically what that one would be. It's just a fun story. <laughs> Let's confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. Holy and gracious God, I confess that I have sinned against you this day. Some of my sin I know, the thoughts and words and deeds of which I am ashamed. But some is known only to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I ask forgiveness. Deliver and restore me, that I may rest in peace. Hear these words of assurance. By the mercy of God, we are united with Jesus Christ, in whom we are forgiven. We rest now in the peace of Christ and rise in the morning to serve. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis, the third chapter. We hear in this chapter about what is sometimes called original sin. Uh, and hearing, we heed the story, but we also remember that original blessing came before original sin. Now the serpent was more crafty than any other beast of the field that the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, Did God actually say you shall not eat of any tree in the garden? And the woman said to the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees in the garden, but God said, you shall not eat of the fruit of the tree that is in the midst of the garden, neither shall you touch it lest you die. But the serpent said to the woman, You will not surely die, for God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. And so when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was a delight to the eyes, and that the tree was to be desired to make one wise, she took of its fruit and ate. And she also gave some to her husband, who was with her, and he ate. Then the eyes of both were opened, and they knew that they were naked. And they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves loincloths. And they heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day, and the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man and said to him, Where are you? And he said, I heard the sound of you in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid myself. God said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten of the tree of which I commanded you not to eat? And the man said, 
the woman who you gave to be with me, she gave me fruit from the tree and I ate it. And then the Lord God said to the woman, what is this that you have done? And the woman said, the serpent deceived me and I ate. The Lord God said to the serpent, because you have done this, Cursed are you above all livestock and above all beasts of the field. On your belly you shall go, and dust you shall eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and her offspring. He shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his heel. And to the woman he said, I will surely multiply your pain in childbearing. In pain you shall bring forth children. Your desire shall be for your husband, and he shall rule over you. And to Adam he said, Because you have listened to the voice of your wife and have eaten of the tree of which I commanded you, you shall not eat of it. Because of this, cursed is the ground. In pain you shall eat of it all the days of your life. Thorns and thistles it shall bring forth for you, and you shall eat the plants of the field. By the sweat of your face you shall eat bread, till you return to the ground, for out of it you were taken. For you are dust, and to dust you shall return. The man called his wife's name Eve, because she was the mother of all living. And the Lord God made for Adam and for his wife garments of skin and clothed them. Garments of skins, I should say, and clothed them. And then the Lord God said, Behold, the man has become like one of us in knowing good and evil. Now, lest he reach out his hand and take away also the tree of life and eat and live forever. Therefore the Lord God sent him out from the gardens of Eden to work the ground from which he was taken. He drove out the man, and at the east of the garden of Eden he placed cherubim and a flaming sword that turned every way to guard the way to the tree of life. This is word of God. It is word of life. Thanks be to God. We sing together uh, hymn number 249 on Jordan's Bank, the Baptists cry. On Jordan's, pardon, on Jordan's bank the Baptists cry, announces that the Lord is nigh, awake and hearken, for he brings glad tidings of the King of Kings. Then cleansed he every life from sin, Make straight the way for God within, And let us all our hearts prepare For Christ to come and enter there. We hail you as our we hail you as our Savior, Lord, our refuge and our great reward. Without your grace we waste away like flowers that wither and decay. Stretch forth 
Stretch forth your hand, O help, restore, and make us rise to fall no more. O let your face upon us shine, and fill the world with love divine. All praise to you, eternal Son, whose advent has our freedom won. Freedom won, whom with the Father we adore, and Holy Spirit evermore. Jesus says in Matthew 11, Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And in 2 Corinthians, Paul writes, it is the God who said, let light shine out of darkness, who has shone in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. But we have this treasure in clay jars so that it may be made clear that this extraordinary power belongs to God and does not come from us. We sing together our uh, response for him. Into your hands I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O oh Lord, I command my spirit. Into your hands I command my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. Into your hands I command my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands I command my spirit. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A lie to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Guide us, waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Friends, for what and for whom shall we pray this night? Hear my prayer, O Lord. 
Listen to my cry. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. In righteousness I shall see you. When I awake, your presence will give me joy. Oh God, Give us grace to set a good example to all among whom we live, to be just and true in all our dealings, to be strict and conscientious in the discharge of every duty, pure and temperate in all enjoyment, gracious and generous and courteous toward all, so that the mind of Jesus Christ may be formed in us and all may know that we are his disciples. Almighty God, with a mother's love and a father's care, you have blessed us with the joy and responsibility of children. As we bring them up in community, give us gracious love, calm strength, and patient wisdom, that we may teach them to love whatever is just and true and good following the example of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Lord, we pray especially for children's ministries and confirmation classes these days. Lord, we pray for our kids in school or learning from home in front of screens so often. We pray that you would protect them, Lord, from those who would betray or prey upon them. Help, uh, help us to learn well how to minister to them, how to teach and lead them in these times. We give thanks for the efforts of, uh, the, the joint efforts of the congregation sponsoring Sunday School Adventure for St. Matthews, Spruce Grove, for Holy Spirit Edmonton, for Trinity Edmonton, and our Savior. O God of all good gifts, your Son gathered children into his arms and blessed them. Help us to understand our youth as they grow in years and in knowledge of your word and world. Give us compassion when they face temptations and experience failures. Teach us to encourage their search for truth and value in their lives. And help us to appreciate their ideals and sympathize with their frustrations, that with them we may look for a better world than either we or they have known. Lord, we lift up to you all campus ministries. We pray for the work of Sean Bell and Mark Jerry at Luther College in Regina. We lift up to you campus ministries in Saskatoon and at the University of Alberta, the University of Medicine Hat and of Lethbridge and of Calgary, and the Augustana campus. Lord, teach us to sing a new song Grant us curiosity and 
creativity in the midst of so much exhaustion, to meet students uh, where we are able in these days. Lord, make this a time where our ministry is about presence more than program. Help us to be faithful in keeping present with one another. Triune God, whose will it is that humans live in community, bless families, blood-related and chosen, everywhere and fill all homes with respect and joy and laughter and prayer, and strengthen the commitment of husbands and wives to one another, that they may mirror your covenant faithfulness. Pour out your spirit on parents, that through them their children may taste your unconditional love, and empower all family members to live in your grace and forgiveness. Gracious God, none who trust in your Son can be separated from your love. Give to those who live alone peace and contentment in their solitude, hope and fulfillment in their love of you and joy and compassion and companionship in their relations with others. Blessed are you, O Lord, our God, maker of heaven and earth. From everlasting you are God, our dwelling place in all generations. You are the source of holy wisdom and the fountain of all truth. We give thanks to you for the elders among us. We are graced by their wisdom and seasoning. We are touched by their knowledge and faith. Bless them, O God as they are a blessing to us. Pour out our spirit that our elders may continue to dream dreams and testify to the light of their salvation, Jesus Christ. May we find inspiration in their years of faithfulness. May we follow their example by serving you with steadfastness and singleness of heart. Lord, we pray together with Heidi tonight and through and with Heidi for all who are weary in need of healing and rest. Grant us a good night sleep. Grant us grace to entrust to you the worries, the burdens that threaten to overwhelm us and entrusting them to you, let us rest so that we can be renewed in our connection and our relationship with you and so renewed and rooted, be raised to the new day that will most certainly come. And in that day to praise and service. Be present, merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of life may find our rest in you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O Lord, support us all the day long of this troubled life until the shadows lengthen and the evening comes and the busy world is hushed. The fever of life is over and our work is done. Then in your mercy grant us a safe lodging and a holy rest and peace at the last through Jesus Christ our Lord who teaches us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. 
your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Now in peace I will lie down and sleep. You alone, O God, make me secure. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Welcome, Rita. Glad you could join us. Shelley, blessings to you. Thanks for being here tonight. Uh, so we'll read together um, now our Advent story. Oops, pardon me. And if you can't stick around, blessings and good night. Thanks for joining tonight, Shelley and Rita. Peace be with you, Heidi. Go get that good night's sleep. Blessings to you, Karen and Robin. Feel free to share a pic, uh, Karen, of that uh, cool project that you're working on. Oh, I don't know, maybe it's a surprise. Anyway, hopefully I didn't spoil it. <laughs> um, Robin, blessings to you, Marilyn and Irene. Peace be with you, Katika. So glad to worship with you tonight. Blessings, everyone. Over to you, Mo Willems. Waiting is not easy. Waiting is not easy. Gerald! Huh? I have a surprise for you. Yay! What is it? What is it? The surprise is a surprise. Oh! Is it big? Yes. Mm. Is it pretty? Mm. Yes. Oh boy, oh boy. Can we share it? Yes! I cannot wait! You will have to. Huh? Wait, what? Why? The surprise is not here yet. So, will I have to wait for it? Yes. Groan! Oh well, if I have to wait, I'll wait. Ooh. 
I am waiting. Waiting is not easy. Piggy, I want you, I want to see your surprise now. I am sorry, Gerald, but we must wait. <gasps> Grow. I am done waiting. I do not think your surprise is worth all this waiting. I will not wait anymore. Blink, blink. Okay, I will wait some more. It will be worth it. <gasps> Groan! Oof! Piggy! We have waited too long! It is getting dark. It is getting darker. Soon we will not be able to see each other. Soon we will not be able to see anything. Hmm. We have wasted the whole day. Hmm. Well, um, we have waited and waited and waited and waited and for what? For that. Dawn from on high shall break upon us. This was worth it. I know. Tomorrow morning, I want to show you the sunrise. I cannot wait. And Pigeon says, Wow! Good night, friends. A blessed waiting. It's worth it.